get it kind of toasty up there. Hmm. Well, I certainly love old microphones, as you can tell. I love old 1950s shark skin suit that look all kinds of different colors under the light. I love old drum kits. I love old cars and old films, and I love old movies. And I like old films, too. <laughs> And motion pictures, and I love seeing old films in the cinema. And I love being redundant. I also like old music, and I try to write music that sounds old and creaky in some ways. It might have sounded like it came through an old vintage radio during the golden age of radio in the 1930s. And that's what this next song, I hope, kind of in some small way captures. It's called Hook, Line, and Sinker. popular during the golden age of radio. Al Bowley, maybe not as popular as Bing Crosby or Rudy Valley, but nonetheless, in my heart, my favorite singer. On April 17, 1941, he was giving a concert just outside of London at the Rec Cinema. And after the concert, he was told that it wasn't safe to return to London because it was being bombed. He took the last train home anyway and climbed into bed in the heart of London and opened up a cowboy book and fell asleep. That night he was killed. And in some small way, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to recreate, just for the next few moments, if you will, what it might have sounded like way back in 1933 when life was in black and white. And Al Bowley came here to Holland to share the music and his voice with the Ray Noble Orchestra. So let's rewind just for a few moments Back to the year 1933, just outside of Rotterdam, with Al Bowley and the Ray Noble Orchestra. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. 